All right, ladies and gentlemen, as promised, I am back with my, I know I've seen a lot of reviews, but I'm back with uh, Field Roast Hand Form Field Burger. And I need to see my camera. The uh, Field Roast Chow Slices. Now, I have to say, I've already tasted this individually. And it is creamy, really, really creamy. I've, I've seen a lot of uh, a lot of reviews online by non-vegans, non-vegetarians, as well as vegetarians, and they all were just grossed out by it. I found it uh, very pleasant, very surprising. Um, I wasn't sure that you could do something like that, so. There it is. That's that. That's the the Chow Field Burger. And then I have one other ingredient. Or actually, I should say one other item that I'm using as well. And if you've ever had this, Kavita Sparkling Probiotic Drink. And I'm drinking the Lime Mint Coconut. Uh, it's like three, $3 a bottle here in West Virginia. It's not bad. I really, really like this. So, here is the, uh, let's see if we can get in the camera, here is my burger, no, uh, I couldn't find my uh, other ingredients, and besides that I think for this taste test, or this taste review, I probably just need to taste it as it is, so, uh, vegan brioche burger, of course the uh, vegan chow cheese, uh, the vegan field burger, and of course the bottom, and then there's organic mustard and ketchup in between. Now I'm not normally accustomed to one eating on camera, but for the sake of argument here, I am going to uh, do my best to keep this in focus on camera and give you a review. Mm. Nice. Yeah. I like it. It's um, it's got a pleasant taste to it. Not not firm, not hard. You know, like some people fry their burgers. Mm-hmm. Yep. I think I would probably buy that all the time. That's uh, and as you can tell, very sloppy ear. Very sloppy ear as well as a. Uh, I usually get it everywhere on the plate and on me. Uh, let's go for another bite, shall we? These are good. Mm-hmm. I'm really surprised. The cheese has a nice creamy taste to it. The uh, burger is oniony. I mean, if you've ever had sea tam, about a week gluten, you know that it can be chewy if you're not done it right. And it has a pleasant chewiness about it, but it's not, not overbearing. You know it, I'm gonna finish the whole thing. Mm hmm. It's intriguing. Hmm. It's probably better seasoned than some of the burgers I've had some from some of the fast food joints as well as those that I've made myself. Not necessarily vegan, but omnivore type sandwiches, carnivore. It's very good. It's, uh, as you can see, it's, you know, it's decent size, patty, you know, nice texture, nice flavor. Mm-hmm.
Mm. Mm. I don't see. I do not see how you give it a bad review. No. If you're used to what you're used to, that's probably true. You know? Well, let's keep going, shall we? It's good. Mm-hmm. Mm. can't find anything wrong to say about it other than maybe it could have made it bigger bigger in size you know yeah give me a give me a triple right um you know last piece so you can tell them I'm enjoying it I'm done. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. No. Now, for those of you that, you know, are used to what you're used to, that's, that's fine and dandy. You know, but I don't see anything bad about it. I really don't. The, uh, like I said, the. Hang on, I clean up myself here. Get this over. The vegan chow. Field roast slices. They are exactly what they say they are. They're creamy. It has a. Has a. A distinct buttery taste. Very good. I like it. You know, I would eat it again. I really would. Um, I give the Field Rose people, the company, two thumbs, five thumbs, whatever. I, I like it. You know, continue to make that. Even if all you do is make it for me. <laughs> uh, if I knew the recipe, hey, I'd make it myself. But what fun would that be when you could, when you could purchase it? I mean, you can purchase it from someone, you know. Every once in a while you need to splurge, or not splurge, depends on your budget. Again, field roast, hand field burger, hand form. You know, we, we did the, we did the minor review. Now, I haven't done a review on this one, the Kavita. I've drank this for a number of weeks, months. And I have nothing bad to say about it. I've tried the one with ginger. This is the uh, lime mint coconut. Um, I've had kombucha. I've had the uh, sparkling. Uh, I've had the water keepers. Um, I have nothing bad to say about it. Fizzy, as you can hear, if you didn't. It has a nice fizz to it. I've already drank half. There are two serving sizes in this, by the way. And... Let me wash down my food and we'll get the rest of that. <sighs> Delicious. Kavita, Sparkling Probiotics. We'll do a review on that here real quickly. Handcrafted, active culture, uh, 20 calories. We believe it says on the product on the back of the bottle. That total health begins at your core. Kavita's sparkling probiotic drinks are fermented with our proprietary water kefir culture. Crafted with live probiotics and the finest organic ingredients. Kavita probiotic drinks come in a wide variety of light and delicious fruit flavors that are naturally refreshing to the core. 46% uh, juice in a bottle. Uh, it is, what, 15.2 fluid ounces? Or, excuse me, that's delicious. Dad always said if you can burp, it's good. 
others say it's rude. Well, <clears throat> we won't get into that. 450 milliliters. It is, uh, there's two servings, eight ounces per serving, 20 calories, uh, no fat, uh, 50 milligrams of sodium, six total carbs, four grams of sugar, no protein. Uh, let's see. And it contains the probiotic cultures, which everyone already knows how to pronounce. Some do, some don't. I'm one of the ones that don't. Uh, but there are one, two, three, four, four of them. Then there's four billion uh, at the time of production. Four billion live cultures in here. And it is made from purified water, Kavita Pro Body Culture, which is their, their signature, and it's got four of those in it. Coconut water concentrate, apple cider vinegar, coconut flavor, natural mojito. I'm probably saying it wrong. Mojito. Mojito. I think it is mojito flavors or flavor. Lime whole, lime whole plant extract, vanilla extract. Uh, Reb A, which is stevia leaf extract. Lactic acid fermented. Contains coconut. Certified organic ingredients distributed by Kavita Inc., Oakland, or is that Oakland? Oxnard, California, 93030. Certified organic by the Organic Certifiers Inc. Uh, if you want to contact him, you can contact customer service at kavita.com, 188 or 888. 3106106, lightly carbonated, and it's please swirl gently. Of course, you can recycle the jar, and what I do with it, with mine, is after I get done drinking the two servings, all at once, hopefully not, sometimes yes, sometimes no, but I try to follow the portion size. But after I get done, I sterilize it, rinse it, and I use it for my drinking bottle. Much better than the plastic bottles, so the only bad part about the glasses is if you drop it, it's a goner. Total, total history. So, it is perishable and you need to keep it refrigerated. Um, for those of you that hate kombucha or even hate the mention of it, try this. Try Kavita Sparkling Probiotics. It's a, you know, they've got it in ginger. I had the one the other day. It was a strawberry, I forget the other ingredients, but it was red in color. I've had the one that has ginger and, of course, this one. This one seems to be my favorite, but I like the ginger because it has certain properties in it, as well as this, um, you know. So I wouldn't make it a, a habit to drink it three or four times a day, but, you know, it is one of those one of those things that could be addictive if you choose to let it. Yep. I hear you. So anyway, about $3 for this, you know, but... I see it as worth it, and you know, Kavita, you're doing a good job. Keep it up. Um, fuel to roast, folks. Keep it up. I, I believe in you. Um, you know, just by the uh, taste test today, they are delicioso. Keep up the good work. This is a um, unsponsored uh, review. No, uh, no money for this, so. And I, um, I'm glad to do it because it's something that I feel that I wanted to do now, whether everybody else likes it or not. That's fine and dandy. And just so you know, everything in the background is uh, the kind of the throw it all into a room. Uh, behind me is all of my, all my, some of my plants. And we got the garden up, but the one directly behind me, right here, is an avocado. Started from a seed. All of those plants will go outside once it warms up. Um, the one over that one right there that I'm putting in, crouton. There's actually two that we're growing. That one right there is a pineapple. There are two more pineapples behind there that you can't see. And there's also two resurrection plants behind there. Uh, there's another, yep, there's a pineapple, there's a pineapple. There's a glandulol. It's pronounced it wrong, I know. It's a part of the turmeric family. It's right there. Um, and then this plant right here next to the water bottle is the African root that they make. Uh, uh, <sighs> now 
can't think of it. But anyway, that's that's the African root right there. Uh, it actually started to sprout. Uh, we were trying to keep it away from mice and uh, stuck in a dishwasher. We don't use the dishwasher anyway, so stuck it in a dishwasher and a few days later a sprout comes forth. So what do I have a choice to do? I plant it, yes indeed. Now I forgot to also mention that in that pot with the avocado and the turmeric alternative family member, there is a mango. Now mangoes when I do them, I split the seed, I'll split the seed open, or I'll take, you know, curse all the fruit off split the seed open and try my best to delicately open it and then on the other end on the other end of the uh, other end of the seed is its uh, stem or its umbilical cord if you want to call it that I try to keep that on nine times out of ten it doesn't always work but if I know if I can keep that on I can grow any mango that, that uh, comes through these doors well, it didn't happen this time. I usually am very delicate and cut the umbilical cord away from the, the other end of the seed. This time it did. Pops right off. What was I to do? I remember uh, a lady on YouTube talking about how she took a, a paper towel, wrapped it up, put it in a plastic bag, and stuck it in a, a warm windowsill area. It sprouted. Well, sure enough, it did. So you can't see it, but it's in that bucket. So if you wonder what that is, that's the growing area. All of this stuff here is storage area. These are my uh, wife's uh, linens and things for her hospital bed. That's right, right here. Uh, the other black thing that you see sticking up, of course, is my jacket. But on that hanging, the jacket that's hanging on is a Bowflex, which of course it's not able to use in here. But this is kind of the throw-all room, the slash man cave slash closet slash extra room. So there you have it. And so if you're wondering what all that is behind me, that's it. And all these boxes are uh, stuff that we have stored in. Of course, there's the hospital bed linens. Yep, so that's it. So I enjoyed my my, my field roast burger and the uh, chow uh, vegan creamy cheese. Yeah, yep. And enjoyed my Kavita sparkling probiotic as well. Enjoyed it thoroughly. You can hate it all you want. That's fine, but I, I like it. I like the taste. I like the flavor. I like the, um, the semi-softness. Uh, it's not chewy. It's not soft. It's not crunchy. It's got a good texture, good flavor. And, uh, I mean, if you really want to go back in the day, I'm used to the patties, you know, where they're, you know, you have uh, three burgers on there with three pieces of cheese. And, you know, and by the time you get done with all the condiments, all that, the burgers, so big, you know, up to your nose by the time you try and bite on it. It's good. The brioche burger was good. Ketchup, mustard, everything was delicioso. Uh, I give it five thumbs up. I enjoyed it thoroughly. You may just hate it. And that's fine. Or you may, you know, kind of sort of like it. You don't have to. That's not the whole point of this video. So Just to let you know, hey, there is an alternative out there. It is available at Walmart. It's a little bit pricey burgers six bucks for four cheese is like four dollars for ten slices the Kavita sparkling uh, probiotic is uh, what, three dollars for that bottle ketchup you know so it's all a purchase and you can probably over time once you learn how to do that you know if you really want to be completely self-sufficient make all that yourself which is where I want to be uh, down the road. So. Anywho, that's how it is. That's how it goes. Thanks so much for joining. Thanks so much for listening. And thanks so much for watching me eat. It was delicious. And if you don't think it was delicious too, that's fine. That's fine. You have yourself a wonderful day. Be blessed, folks. Take care. Until next time, remember, just do it. Nike may have conjured or uh, taking that, but you got to do it for yourselves. If you want health, if you want whatever it is in your life, you know you want to you want to have the uh, conditions that make you better mentally, physically, spiritually. You got to do it. 
Nobody's going to drop a book in your lap. Nobody's going to give you a DVD. you got to get up and do it. If you weigh 300 pounds, uh, I was almost 400 pounds. I'm 282.2. Uh, my uh, A1C level was 6.5. I'm 4.9 now. Uh, I'll get into all of the details soon. But if that's where you're at, if you're diabetic, pre-diabetic, bipolar, whatever it is, there is a outlet. And it's not, you know, medicine is wonderful in its own rights, but if you stay on it long enough, there are problems. Or even first starting it, there are problems. So we have to uh, begin taking what is natural, I believe, and reversing the effects, the side effects of all that, not only in medicine, but a stressed environment, you know, and one way of doing it is by putting natural things, natural substances in your body. And we don't always get it right. I know I don't. We don't always get it right. You know, the field roast, the chow, the cavita, it may not be just exactly 110,000% of what I need each and every day. But at that moment, it is a beginning. It is a start. That's what I'm getting at. You start somewhere and you keep moving forward. You know, you can't sustain a plant-based diet like what I'm trying to attempt to do each and every day. Make a choice to do one thing. And then move forward. If you can't stand carrots, find a way. Steam them. Steam your carrots. Don't, don't cook them, you know. Don't put sugar on them. Steam them. It'll bring out the, the sweetness of it. Uh, tomatoes. If you don't like tomatoes, find a way to, you know, Find a way to incorporate them into your lifestyle and your diet each and every day. If you have an acid problem with tomatoes, there's one called Pink Lady. There's also a yellow one, uh, supposedly are lower in uh, acidic levels. So whatever it may be, start from there. And we'll get into this more and more on each and every broadcast, and every podcast, vlog, whatever you want to call it. But. Uh, that's my product review and a little snippets and so forth thrown in as well. So I pray that you have a blessed day. Take care of yourselves. Your health is important to you. It may not be important to anybody else, but it's important to you. It is important to you. And it's got to be. It's got to be important to you. All of the things that determine where you're going is determined by you. You. You make the choices. Doing nothing is still a choice. Saying nothing is still a choice. Going nowhere is still a choice. Failing is still a choice. Living is a choice. Dying is a choice. And everything happens from our choices. So make a choice. If you can't afford a field roast burger, please, you can do mushrooms. You know, if you don't like mushrooms, there are other avenues that we'll get into that. You know, and if you don't like plant-based stuff, please make a healthier choice. You know. Find organic burgers. You don't have to buy them all the time. Or find a, a lower percentage of fat in your in your beef. You know, pork is just, there's just no way to get around all the fat. Uh, but you can make healthier choices. Um, that's that's about all I have to say. I'm get, I know I'm getting too far over onto the other side of, of, of the product review. But it's important to me. And it should be important to you. Truly, you know, take it from one who's who's been there, who's going through things, and I'll share all those with you. You know, right where I'm at, I'm seeing many doctors. You know, uh, like I said, I was 6.5 or 4.9 on my A1C levels. No more metformin. I'm done. She took me off of. She took me off of metformin, and uh, so I'm grateful. Grateful. But I still had to stick my finger because she wants me to just do a, uh, uh, make sure I'm continuing in my progress forward and I only have to do it once a week instead of once a day. So that, that's a blessing. And like I said, I was 385, almost 400 pounds. I'm now down to 292.2 and that's a year later. And that is uh, about one year, maybe two. But it takes some determination. Hunger pains, everything. You gotta do it, folks. 
So, I love you. And I know there are others around you that love you, and they're probably struggling as well. And we can all unify in one voice and one uh, one body mind to move forward. We can encourage one another and help one another. That's what it's all about. I'm not here doing the review to force you to or tell you what I'm doing to force you. That's your choice. If you hear this and you do nothing, that's, I can't say it's fine, but that is your choice. You know, but I, 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 I hope and pray that you will make certain choices for your health. You know, drinking more water, you know, uh, adding certain things into your diet, you know, changing changing. That's where it's, where it's going to go. Okay. Before I start preaching, before I start uh, mentoring, before I start encouraging, which I hope I have, uh, try these burgers. Try the burgers if you want to. Try the cheese if you want to. None else. Try the Kavita. It, it, they have three different flavors that I've found so far. And they're wonderful. So thank you for spending some time with me today. And I'll be back soon. God bless. Take care. And remember, do it for yourself. Do it for yourself. Bye now.